Hi, my name is Hillary. I'm Scott. Hi, I'm Marianne, and we're home in Amityville, New York. I hired Scott. I was the training director for a large life and health insurance company. And I believe in building a very close relationship with my clients. <laughs> <laughs> so we're No down longer. <laughs> It's our third generation in the insurance business. Our, our youngest son and our youngest daughter have joined the family business and we work together as a team and it's, it's a great family business. We were in the process of purchasing the home when Superstorm Sandy hit. This house had three feet of water throughout this level. Most of our anticipation was not about us, it was about our clients. Post Superstorm Sandy, we converted a traditional agency into the insurance advocates based here at, at the home. We're essentially shutting off our income. And it's pro bono because I can't ask families in dire straits to cough up any money. And we're not stopping until the last family's home. When I do get free time from work, uh, there's other work to be done. He's always working on the house, and I really want that time with him. Who knows how much time any of us have left, and I want that time spent together. I have stage four metastatic breast cancer. It's incurable, but there are people who live many, many years with it, and I intend to be one of them. In a matter of a few months, we had a house that was flooded. Uh, my mom had a cancer recurrence, and we were so busy just helping everybody else manage their claims and trying to get back home that the to-do list at our house got longer and longer. Morning, sir. When I get a thousand calls and people walk around cameras, I can tell them what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do a show called George the Rescue, and we're going to surprise the family, uh, block over, let them know. George to the Rescue. Yep. Follow me back to my house. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now that the cops have cleared us to do this rescue, let's go surprise the family. Let them know we're here before they call them up and let them know. For every one accomplishment, there's two more things waiting to be done. So I don't get the sense of fulfillment that I would normally get. Ah, oh, the bathroom's complete. Let's take a drive. <laughs> the only next drive we take is the Home Depot. Depot. <laughs> that's right. And if he asked me to come with him, that's a hot day. The greatest thing I could do outside of being here, loving, supporting, and cherishing, is to give my wife her favorite spot and our favorite gathering spot, our kitchen. I'm grateful to have a kitchen. It's just not a kitchen that's conducive to entertaining. But it's a natural, that's where the coffee is. I love you and you're my role model and I would love to be like you as a human one day, but I do not want to be you with your coffee addiction and obsession. It. I like to call my kitchen quirky. I describe it as a galley with an annex. I feel I'm so cut off from everybody else because I can't hear anyone with the big long wall. I just want the kitchen to look clean and nice and have an open place where everyone can sit and gather. I always believe that when I'm cooking, it's my best expression of love to my family and friends. For George to come here, um, as humbling as it would be, it would give me the opportunity to provide the home that I want to provide for my wife. Now, I'll get there but it's going to take me a long time. Good morning. Oh, my God! How are you, George? Hi, Marianne. Oh, my God, it's so good to see you. <laughs> to have George on my doorstep, it's like winning the lottery. Hey, Scott. George Oliphant. How are you? Well, if you know who I am, you know what I'm here to do, right? I can't believe you're here. And I've heard about how handy you are, and I know that you could probably fix this house up as good, if not better, than I can. But uh, I want you to be able to focus on Marianne and focus on the family and let me and my team tackle the house and the construction. Incredible. Is that all right with you? Oh, my God. You just... So much. Looking at the work we have left to do 
uh, to create a, a healing environment. There's two or three years of it with me doing it myself. And George has given me that, that time back to spend with my family. Hillary, morning. Hillary was speechless, and I've never seen Hillary speechless. Uh, when she saw George coming down the stairs, she froze. Are you shocked? <laughs> <laughs> my dad always feels guilty when something good happens to him. Never in their lives will they ever think that they have deserved this or earned this, but they have. So the team we've assembled for this rescue is our interior designer, Marlena Teich, our general contractor, Ben Jackson, and our architect, Jim Prisco. Guys, welcome to the family's kitchen. As you can see, it's a little tight, a little constrained, and you have this nice great room, this family room right off here. This is just so compartmentalized. I'd love to break free from that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, what do you think about opening up this wall, Jim? You think structurally we'd be able to... Uh... I know there's a second story above it, but uh, I'll design a piece of steel to handle that. So you're thinking if we take this whole wall down, mm. we'll be able to put in a steel beam to carry the load? Well, yeah, I like the, the idea of the whole wall. wall. No, 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 no. No, yeah. not the whole no, no, wall. No, 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 I mean, unless you I want to do it. This corner, <laughs> like, no. Just keep on going. If you take open that whole wall, we won't have any place for cabinetry. If we open it here and this becomes one big opening, we lose this cabinet, mm. but then we have a counter that carries out right. there. Yeah. So it kind of gives you a little more flow between the two rooms. What about this conundrum? Look at this place. We have pots, pans, serving dishes, mixers. I mean, this is an overflow of stuff. Well, it's got a lot of books. I see it more like a research room or a little library. It's very dim in here, and it feels dreary. So I know they use this as their pantry, but I'd like them to use this space also as a little breakfast room. Okay. So we could just add at least maybe six hi-hats. Well, half of us can. But if we Half do, of us? Yeah, well, oh, you, mean you, you can, can, I can. I can but <laughs> but I if just, we do, we have to rip down the whole ceiling. So I mean, it, I'm oh, sorry. Really? But it's more work. It's more I'm work sorry, work. but okay. like you're strong. You're a big yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rip it down. <laughs> There's no reason why we can't take this wall out. It's a non-bearing wall. You can hear it. It's nice and hollow. It is thick, but it's not supporting anything. This is a perfect example of teamwork. This is really going to come together nicely. And I got another person that's going to join the team and help us with demolition. Oh, who is it? It's a surprise, guys. You'll see. Go team. Yeah, yeah. Go team, let's start this rescue. Come on over here. All right. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Coldwell Banker, where home begins. Today I'm here to assist George with the kitchen demo. I, I do enjoy myself a good sledgehammer and, and a hard hat. Pretty excited that my hard hat matches my, my shoes today. I'm a big fan of coordinating everything. We're right, right about here? No, no, no. From We want to start from here. Yep. Oh, I could do this. Wish you could. <laughs> there you go. I don't belong in the kitchen. <laughs> That's one way to unscrew it. This, that, this is not normal. I don't think this is a, no, a normal way to take apart a kitchen. <laughs> I hope the water's off. The man is an animal. <laughs> At this point, I'm just sitting back. Taking it all in. Honestly, nah. Ben Jackson, demolition, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> you have to use precision when you do stuff like this. No, no, 100%. Swing it. I come bearing gifts. I just want you guys to have respirators. Let me just help you, help yourselves. Yeah! Listen, Mom, Dad, it wasn't just George and Ben and Marlena that did this. I took down that wall. It's fun to use tools with no limitations. You can just have at it, destroy something that has angered you for so long, like the takeout window. Feeling good. Kitchen's looking good. Oh, they are so gonna try and pry me for details. They're, they're gonna sit there and be like, okay, so 
What? What happened? Did you see anything? So before I send you away, anything I should know, mom's tastes, dad's tastes, things we should or should not put in the kitchen? Dad really only cares about coffee. Right. As long as there's an area for him and his coffee, he will be the happiest guy on the planet. All right, on and, the list. And for mom, no blue. No blue. I despise his blue. No, it's like no blue at all. Like No blue at all anywhere. I have blue eyes. Should I keep my eyes closed during the no, reveal? No, it's okay. I, okay. I'm really glad that Hillary gave me that information because I'm about to head out to Showcase Kitchens and meet up with Marlena. And I think this is information she'd like to know. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. So George, we have a lot of shopping to do today. We'll get John and we'll find some great products. Terrific. Hi John. Oh hey, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? How are you doing? Hey, George, George. all fine. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Welcome Thank you. to Showcase Kitchen. So, what'd you lay out for us? I laid out a whole bunch of different things based okay. on a few things we discussed. Okay. So, these are the ingredients for our kitchen? Right. All right, what so, are we thinking? Well, first, let me show you what the paint color is because now that yeah. we've opened up the kitchen to the family room, we need to have a flow. Based on what we discussed, I'm thinking a very minimalist style. This is perfect. I don't uh, think yeah. we have to look any further. These are actually concrete. Oh, really? Wow. The problem with this lighter color is I'm worried that she'll read it as in the blue family. Do you think? I don't know. You might be getting a little crazy with well, the blue. Well, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to pick blue. <laughs> My mom's biggest concern about design is that there's going to be some shade of blue. I, I really dislike turquoise and sky blue and robin's egg blue. and I have nothing against anyone who loves blue. It's just not my thing. How long does it take to fabricate this? That's important to know. Yeah, we don't have a he lot needs, of time. He needs a lot of time to fabricate. Uh, we're looking so, at like bye -bye. three weeks, soup to nuts. <laughs> Can we even do this three cabinetry? Weeks. I know, it's nuts. Custom cabinets, custom backsplash, custom fabricated countertops in three weeks. I know, I'm asking a lot. That's sort of impossible. I know John really wants to do what he can to help Marianne and Scott be part of George the Rescue. But uh, kitchens are pricey, and he makes really nice kitchens, which uh, probably even pricier. I'm gonna have to bend a lot of arms, but I'm gonna make it happen, George. I think I can actually get you appliances, too. So soup to nuts, you're gonna take care of the Everything. entire kitchen. I'm gonna take care of the kitchen. We don't even need Marlene anymore. It's my new best friend. Wait, but I introduced you. Uh, oh wait, there's one more thing. Sorry, there's I know this else. is a lot to ask for. I know they're not inexpensive, but Scott, he's a coffee fiend. The coffee area is vital. Uh, to survival. Most people drink coffee to stay awake, I drink it to stay alive. So it becomes a medical necessity to have it set up correctly. <laughs> I think we need to test some coffee. Let's have some coffee. Okay. I think today was amazing. We laid out our design plan, we got all of our elements, now we just gotta put it together. Cheers. Cheers. Got a little monkey wrench. All right. I called a meeting this morning to go over the design and the plan. Mary Ann was here. She had to come back for some medicine she had on a desk. Somebody left the plan out. She kind of knows what's going on. Uh, she saw some things she would like done differently. All right. Okay, that's not really. At this stage, at this stage, we, we want to right make now. some changes. That's all. Just. To be honest, I feel really mad. <laughs> and I'm confused. You're saying, she's saying. Wait, who's the designer here? Yeah, A, <laughs> who's the designer? Darn it. And B, this is supposed to be a surprise. So surprise, you're getting a breakfast room. The original thing, which, you know, I think we all, myself too, kind of dropped the ball on, and it makes sense, the bathroom opening into the eating area. So I think we got to go in and kind of review what's, uh, what the concerns are. All right, so this is the bathroom, and right, this is where you know, the eating area would be, so you wouldn't want the bathroom to go in here. So this door would disappear, right? You would just sheetrock over everything, and then... Yeah, we'll put it in this, this wall. It's right off here. to the side. It's not opening right to where people are eating. So originally, we couldn't do the bathroom because 
it was out of our scope. We didn't have the time and we didn't have the budget. But now, um, we still don't have the time or the budget. Somehow, Ben, the miracle worker that he is, has decided that we are going to be able to do this. All right, let's go uh, tear apart that bathroom. Let's go, let's do it. I'll just let you and your bare hands do it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to rework this plan real quick. All right, done. George to the Rescue is brought to you in part by The Inn at Fox Hollow, Long Island's Luxury Boutique Hotel. All right, Ben, looks like our cabinets from Showcase Kitchens have arrived. Ben and I are here to uh, lend you some muscle. Is this entire truck ours? Yeah. Wow. That's, uh, that's crazy. Look at Ben go, huh? Guy is a beast. You know, I can carry that. Oh, oh thank God. I got this one, guys. I got it all by myself. Hey guys, that cabinet looks like it goes over there. Why don't we rest it here for now to right. get that space ready to put it up. John, I couldn't help but notice we have a lot of cabinets and a lot of appliances. So how are we going to put this all together? They're starting over here, which is where the uh, storage closets were going to be to have all those um, items they had that were on the, all the open shelving. Right, right, yeah. And then we're going to keep the cabinetry in the center going to be open shelves, so that would be still some things that they could display. And, and then as the room flows on in. flow into here, basically the cooking zone is on our right side. And then to our immediate left, we have our sink. Okay. We have a dishwasher to yep. the right of that. And then there's that magical coffee mas machine that we talked about. Wow. Well, looking at this and looking at around here, we definitely have a work cut out for us. Yes. But uh, let's get it started. In here, we just need to bring in the table, mm -hmm. the chairs, and then we have to fill up the bookcases with Maria's books. So you guys do the lifting, and I'll do the directing. Wow, is that heavy? Yeah. I love that you went with the marble uh, table here. So do you know why I picked it? I don't. It's pretty. Aside from being so pretty, she can roll out dough right. on here. Flour is great on a marble surface, and she can make her pies <laughs> or whatever she likes to cook. I'm not really going to use a lot of pictures gotcha. because the pattern of this wallpaper is kind of enough. I thought we could hang this cafe here, oh, very cool. but a little lower. You know, it's funny, the wood grain and the gray goes beautiful with oh the top. Oh my god! Yeah, Who is the designer You're here? The I can't imagine. You're the best. Isn't the picture supposed to go like this? Shh. Oh, why do you have to tell people the secrets? I, I just look that it's way. It's artwork. It's subjective. True. We can hang it any way we like. All right, guys, kitchen's looking good. I'd say we're just about done. Yeah, I think it looks great. Do you oh, like it? I love it. Yeah. We have the coffee. And there's no blue. And hopefully no more peeking. To make sure of that, I'm going to get the family right now. Let's do this. Sounds good. Hey, guys. Hey, George. Welcome hey. home. George. Oh, thank you, George. Good to see you. You guys want to see what we've been up to? Absolutely. Yes, we do. All right. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Follow me. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Come on in. Come on in. Wow. My first reaction when I came in the house was utter shock. This is unbelievable. It's not just a kitchen, it's a... Uh, to work of art. Ah, I could have never done this. Get my pillow, I'm sleeping here. I'm really just proud of how beautiful it is. I do not think that Marlena could have done a better job just getting to know my mom and bringing her close-minded traditional style into a more modern time. This is amazing. I, oh, it, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Look at just that much more open, how much bigger this feels. Hillary and I are going to be able to work in the kitchen together, and I'm just so excited to do that again. The whole coffee station right here for you. Oh, this is unbelievable. All the time. 
He's probably going to read his coffee machine manual tonight. I have to read the instruction book, and once I have those details down, I'll pick exactly the right bean. This thing is going to be going almost 24-7. If you'll notice over here, there's no longer any doors. No more oh my God. Doors. No more oh, saloon doors. No. The fact that we're sitting here and gathered together is incredible. I mean, we're actually going to be able to sit here and eat together. This is two years you've given us. This is two years of together time. It would have taken me that amount of time to do this on my own if I could ever do it on my own. And the sense of relief is indescribable. The whole thing is mind blowing. Yeah. Mind's blown. I still haven't come down to earth yet. Now, obviously I didn't do it by myself. A lot of amazing people were very generous with their time and their materials to make this perfect for you. So instead of just thanking me, what do you say we go and thank all of them? Absolutely. All right, follow Let's me go. right through here. Yeah.